Hey, this is Russ. Hey, you know, stocks is like selling guitars for me. <laughs> Let me explain. Let me do a little explain in here, okay? <laughs> All right. Um, for many years, I was buying and selling guitars, mostly acoustic guitars. And I think I've gone, if not at least 40 guitars, maybe even a little over 40 guitars in my lifetime. Now, you may know other guitar players. Uh, we kind of go through guitars. <laughs> uh, there's a new guitar. Oh, got to try that one out. Yeah, I didn't like it. Got to get rid of that. Got to buy another one. <laughs> yeah, I don't like that one. Got to get rid of that. Got to buy another one. Okay. So when you do this over and over during your lifetime, I think I've gone over 40 guitars at this point. If not 40, very close to 40. Something in that range. Let's, let's say 35 to 45. Let's say that probably closer to 40. Anyways, um, it reminds me a lot of the stock market, okay? Now, you may know that I was dabbling in tr uh, day trading um, stocks when this pandemic hit and everyone was locked down. And, um, you know, my wife said, uh, maybe you should learn something about financial things since you don't really know a whole lot about it. So why don't you buy some stocks, okay? And I, I don't know anything about stocks the stock market. I never did. And so um, my friend Stacy, who has been doing trading things, actually, he, he holds for a longer term than I did. Um, he taught me a lot of what to do. So I, I opened up a, a, a TD Ameritrade account and started trading. Now, I did pretty well initially. I was buying uh, the cruise stocks, okay, because when the pandemic was happening, um, you know, they had dropped way down to, I think, like a hundred and no, I'm sorry, not 100 something, down to, uh, what was it, uh, $8. <laughs> now, I didn't know anything about the stock market at that time, so for me to buy in then would have been a little, little reckless. But by the time I, I started realizing, hey, you know, um, yeah, if I would have bought some, I would have made some money. I, I bought in um, probably around a $14 range in that range. And then I was buying it and then selling it and buying it and selling it. You know, I do this almost daily. Um, well, you can't do it daily. I had a, I have a, a cash account, which basically means you put in X amount of money and then you can use that money. But, you know, once you sell something, it takes 48 hours before you can get the money back to buy something else. And the reason uh, we did that rather than doing another type of account, which allows you to keep trading constantly, uh, is because that curbs me back. So I can't uh, immediately buy things, you know, just for the sake of buying things. So uh, we started out with an investment of about $10,000. And then uh, we increased that to a $20,000 investment. So I have $20,000 in the stock market. And I was doing this trading stuff, and I was actually doing pretty good at first, uh, mostly trading uh, Carnival stock, <laughs> which is the cruise line. And um, I think I was up 5000 something dollars at one point. And, and then things started to go bad, okay? Uh, make a bad uh, trade and then, oh, I've lost a couple thousand dollars. Oh, that's okay. I still have a certain amount of money. Uh, then you do it again. Oh, I lost a couple more thousand dollars. And the next thing you know, you're down $2,000 in the hole. <laughs> Um, so I've been trying to pull myself out of that and I, I brought myself back to about a $1,400 in the whole level. So I was still, you know, in, in the red, not doing too well. Anyways, uh, my wife had been one that always says, you know, you should buy a good stock and just sit on it. You know, the, don't keep trading it, just hold it for long term. So what's a safe stock to buy? Okay. Um, uh, so I thought, uh, Apple. And, and that's what my wife thought too, Apple, let's buy Apple. So I bought Apple just before the stock split happened, okay? And that happened, when did that happen? Um, end of August, right? You had to buy in before the end of August. So I bought, um, how many shares did I buy? I bought 40 shares of Apple at that time. I think it was like $436, something like that. I'm not exactly sure, but it's around that range. And uh, it went up, okay? So I was, I was sitting pretty, okay? Then the stock split happened. So you got four stocks for the one. So my 40 shares became 160 shares, but it drops the price down by a quarter. So uh, it dropped it down to $109.09 per share, okay? And, 
you know, it feels kind of funny when it drops, but but you have 160 shares, so I'm, I'm sitting pretty, and it goes up to the 130, mid-130 levels, so I'm doing decent. And then it starts to drop, right? So it's dropping, and I'm, I'm now the day trader personality in me says, get rid of this thing. <laughs> it's dropping. <laughs> But, uh, you know, I told my wife that I would hold it for long term. So I says, yeah, I, I got to get rid of this. I, I couldn't get rid of it. So I, I held it. And then it started dropping more. And the next thing you know, it's very close to what I bought it for, $109.09 per share. So I said, I, that's it. I, I have to dump it. I cannot keep this. <laughs> We're going to lose money if I keep it. So I sold it. Okay, I think I sold it for $109.15 per share. So I, I basically made nothing on it. Okay, And so uh, I says, okay, it's gone. Uh, I will buy back in when the time comes. Okay. In the meantime, um, I started thinking we should buy some Tesla. Because <laughs> Tesla did a stock split too. But I didn't buy it when, uh, before the split. So I only bought five shares of Tesla. All right. And uh, that wasn't doing too good either, so I eventually sold it off. So, so at a point, I had nothing, okay? I didn't make any money. I didn't lose any money. I was still down by about the $1,400 level, something like that. So I said, okay, um, if Apple go goes and, and, and drops some more, I will buy, okay? So uh, this past Monday, uh, I bought into Apple again at $104 uh, and something cents, something like that per share because it had dropped. And then I also bought back some Tesla. <laughs> I think I bought like 10 shares of Tesla, something like that. So um, it's sitting, nothing's happening on that Monday. And then I said, you know, the reports don't sound too good. It sounds like we may have some really bad things happening. So I sold it, immediately turned around and sold it. Uh, I think I sold Apple for $105 and something and Tesla, I don't know. I, I still, I didn't lose any money on any of it. I, I made a few dollars. I think I made like maybe 240 something dollars, something like that for a very short time. I mean, you're talking, you know, a couple hours and I got rid of it. Okay. So uh, anyways, um, I said, okay, I'm, I'm not touching this un unless something happens that Will, will make me do it. So I sit back, and the next day, <laughs> the stock goes up. <laughs> I think it, it may have hit 111, 112, something like that. I don't know what it was. Something in that range. Is, I said, now I'm feeling I'm missing out. I should have kept it, and um, I'm missing out. So, so at this point, I can't buy anything. I, I have to wait the 48 hours. So on Wednesday, which would have been yesterday, my money comes back in. I says, I got to get back into Apple because things are going to happen. So I buy back in, <laughs> okay, at, at the $110.85 level. Should have kept it at 104, I'm telling you. So, anyways, I figure, all right, we'll just hold it and see where it goes, okay? Guess what happens right after I buy it? <laughs> it starts to plummet. <laughs> And um, here it is today. Today is Thursday, okay, in, in the aftermarket trading and everything and pre-market trading. Um, it's It was down to $104.80. <laughs> so I'm thinking, I'm not getting anywhere. This, it's like I'm buying and selling the same thing as buying and selling guitars, okay? Um, so I'm losing money, right? I'm losing money. Um, and I'm, I'm right after I bought, bought it, it just started to come down. I go, so... I just kept thinking, this is this is bad. I have to get rid of Apple. <laughs> so here it is on Thursday morning, right? And I'm watching it, and the low was about one hundred and four dollars and eighty cents. And I go, okay, if this thing gets back to what I bought it for, or at least close to that range, I have to dump it. <laughs> and luckily, it started to rise. So the Tesla, Tesla took a tumble too, and then it started to rise. Okay, so. Um, I didn't think it was going to hit what I bought Apple for. Again, I bought for like $110.85 per share. So I, I did some calculating. I says, all right, I made some money on Monday. And um, I bought it back on, on um, Wednesday. Here it is Thursday now. I says, if it hits at least $109.30, okay, I'll sell it. 
And that's because even though I'm losing from the ten dollars and fifty uh, eighty five cents that I bought it from, uh, that loss would essentially equate to the money that I made on Monday. <laughs> so I would break even again. Okay. So I'm watching and I'm watching and of course it's going up and down. Uh, it went up real fast and then then it was doing the up and down thing and it finally hit hundred and hundred and um. Uh, nine dollars and thirty cents so it's sold so i sold all 150 shares i had 150 shares i don't know if i told you guys that so it's a lot of shares so it's something that you know even if it goes up a dollar you're you're talking you know 150 shares that's 150 dollars for every dollar per share right so i says okay i'm taking a loss but i'm evening myself back out because i had some profit from monday now i still have the tesla okay Tesla, I bought in uh, again too high. I bought in uh, on Monday at four hundred dollars and ninety nine cents, and this morning, okay, it had dropped as low as was it? I'm looking at the screen here, three hundred and fifty one dollars and thirty cents. <laughs> but I only have five shares of Tesla this time, so I'm not as worried. So I says, okay, I'm gonna let this thing sit. Um, as I'm looking at the screen right now, it's three hundred and eighty seven ninety three. Um, I says, if, if it goes to the $401, I can sell it and just break even again. But I says, well, I'll hold it a little longer. I'll hold it for at least until $426, trying to make $25 per share times five. And my logic behind that was, if it hits that, then at least I kind of make back some of the money that I could have done had I sold <clears throat> Apple at a little bit of a better profit, okay? <clears throat> I, I sold at 930, but um, I think it hit as high as 110, at least as, as of this recording. <laughs> it's coming back down again. Right now, where is it at? $108.78. So it, it was probably a good time for me to sell it. Um, now, you may think, well, just hold it. Maybe tomorrow will be better. But you know what? The market is so volatile right now that I felt I, I don't know and I don't trust the market until after the elections. Really, I, I just... I just don't feel good about it. Now, I'm saying this now, but I'll guarantee you, let's say this thing drops back down to $104 again for Apple, yeah, you're probably going to see me buy in again. <laughs> it's a back and forth deal. It's like me buying guitars. I like it. I'll buy it. Oh, I don't like it so much. Let me get rid of it. Let me buy another one. Okay. So the stock market is kind of like buying guitars for me. It seems to be a back and forth deal. I'm not good at it. In my opinion, I'm not good at it. Um, I was good for a while, but it didn't last. <laughs> well, I keep with it. Um, yeah, I probably will. I'll probably keep playing around with it back and forth, but I'm not getting anywhere. I make some money, I lose the money back. I make some money, I lose it again. It's a back and forth deal. How are you guys doing in the stock market? <laughs> are you staying in? Are you getting out? Are you going to try this? What is, what's the deal with you guys? Let me know. Put a comment in the comment below if you... Uh, if you're in the stock market and, and how you feel about that today, you think um, you think it's too risky right now, or do you think it's something to still get involved with? Should I hold off? What do you think? Hey, if you like the video, hit the like button, hit the share button, hit the subscribe button, hit it all, and I will talk to you next time.